Good day, Ralph Fanners. Welcome back to the platform. Today is a very special day to remember because we are unboxing the R160G train. Many of you know that I have several R68G trains, and we'll compare the pair in just a moment. So, without further ado, let's unbox it. So there you have it. Is the R160G train. The paints are sparkly. Look. It's a sparkly paint now. Does that's, I think that's the new standard of Mooney Pals. This is a 2022 R160 train. Very nicely finished. I, I can't wait to actually do uh, subway runs with it this weekend on the Metropolitan Lorimer Street with L trains. But it's very beautiful. Uh, apart from that, the design on the top is getting more... I think it's still fairly round, but I've got a feeling that the side of the train, particularly the top of the train, is a little bit more rigid compared to the L train. So have a look and you'll see what I mean. Now look on the top, slowly look on the side. You see feel a little bit more round. Same thing here. It's a bit more rigid. I've got a feeling that in my hands they're a bit more rigid. Or it could just be my sensory, but I've got a feeling that it's a little bit more more round on the top to the side compared to the G train on top of the side. But they both have sparkly paints now. I think that's the new standard. I mean, you look at the L train on the left and a G train on the right. So there you have it. Four R160 G trains. Each and every one of them have lovely finishes. Sparkly paints are now the norm. In fact, the new norm now. Recent models have sparkly paints. Couldn't see much flaw, um, and uh, but I really love the new paint jobs because it looks more exciting rather than the older uh, me metallic finishes, which is a bit more drab. But the new ones are lovely. It looks really nice. Okay, so the brief comparison between the R one sixty G train and the R sixty eight. G train. The paint jobs definitely different. I mean, as I said before, sparkly paints. This is the third to fourth time I said it. The other one has a bit more of a traditional paint color. There isn't much sparkly on them. The uh, train, of course, have different shapes. Uh, given that the R160 is more streamlined than the R68, the R68, uh, the real ones, has been around for a while. But this one is I think it's a 2019 R160G train. It's very rare now, I think. Uh, you can't uh, get get hold of them fairly easily. Uh, so I managed to get hold of eight of them and that's how I managed to do the eight car set G train video for the 2000 subscribers. If you remember that one, I did a five station run. But if you're interested, you can check it out over there. So overall though, the top of the train, as I said, the R160 is more streamlined, more narrow it seems, than the R68. But overall though, if you do put them side by side, I mean if you compare them side by side, technically you won't really notice the difference. Uh, of course, the serial numbers are supposed to be here on the trains, that's why there's a little bracket there. Not much sparkly paint, as I said, but if you look at this one, it's very visible. Okay, so here we've got the wider shot. If you do look below the windows carefully, you will see the speakers on the R160, and of course not on the R68. But apart from that, really, you can't tell much of a difference, because they are fairly industrial, fairly standard when it comes to subway train designs, given that they're all designed to, to uh, carry people anyway. But of course, at the front, we all know that it's different. Uh, but as I said, if you do put them side by side, and if you do hook them up together, I doubt that many of you will notice, unless if you look very closely. So technically, I could get away with it if I actually put them together. But there you are. So without further ado, let's do the test run of the R160 G train.
Have you been paying attention because I hit a R68G train within one of the test run clips? Let me know in the comment section down below, it will be interesting to see your thoughts. And don't forget this weekend, the promised Metro Avenue and Lorimer Street LG train action. See you on the platform fellas.